What's up you cinema creeps, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Shatzer, and today I have a great anthology horror film lined up for us. It is George A. Romero's 1982 classic. Guys, it is Creep Show, and this one's just all kinds of horrific fun. So let's just jump right into this classic and check it out for ourselves. Here is Creep Show. Creepshow is a wild horror anthology crafted from the mad mind of genre masters George A. Romero and Stephen King. Consisting of five terrifying stories of the macabre, entitled The Crate, Something to Tide You Over, Father's Day, The Lonesome Death of Jordy Verrill, and They're Creeping Up on You. The film interweaves all of these tales based on the wildly popular EC horror comics of the 1950s into a cacophony of cinematic horror magic. Star-studded and devilishly madcap, Creepshow is a horrifically fun time at the movies, and a classic example of horror anthologies done right. When it comes to anthologies, the main thing you end up coming away with is one hell of a long list of actors getting in on the action. And with Creepshow, that tradition rings tried and true. The range of talent is across the board impressive, and I'll try to narrow it down to a select few outstanding performances. The shining stars of this horror opus are Hal Holbrook as Henry Northrop, a meek husband turned opportunistic murderer, Adrian Barbeau as Wilma Northrop, a stone cold bitch who gets her just desserts, Leslie Nielsen as Richard Vickers, a psychotic revenge seeking husband who bites off more than he can chew. Ted Danson as Harry Wentworth, a lusty adulterer who finds himself in hot water. Stephen King as Geordie Verrill, a country bumpkin who runs into some interstellar troubles. Ed Harris as Hank Blaine, a partygoer at a very unusual Father's Day party. And finally, E.G. Marshall as Upson Pratt, a neurotic germaphobe whose bitter attitude turns completely buggy. In each and every instance, the cast does a bang-up job with the material, and everyone on board does a remarkable job in carrying the tone and atmosphere of their respective pieces across the entire expanse of this highly enjoyable anthology. From comical performances to morbid presentations, the flavor of the film is kept intact, even in the most outrageous of situations and obtuse of set pieces. With a production that consists of a hairy and vicious beast man, waterlogged zombies, infectious plants, grotesque bugs, and undead reunions. You'd be pleasantly surprised by how they all seem to hold together, thanks to the impeccable direction of George A. Romero and his accomplished crew. There's a quality to the film that truly captures a distinct style, born from the pages of EC Comics, and you really can't deny the overall fun to be had within this demented little production. The color palette of the film is robust, mirroring a dreamlike quality to the proceedings, which helps us, the viewer, be swept up into this warped world of unimaginable sights and ferocious frights. As far as horror anthology films go, Creepshow is a diamond in the rough. It features an eclectic cast of stupendous performers, all laced with a demented attitude and lost in a chaotic cinematic world where anything can happen and most certainly does. Each individual story holds its own, yet still is able to maintain that thread of cohesion that bridges each tale to the next. From crate living monsters to revenge seeking zombies, there's too much to love here for me not to recommend this flick. If you're in a weird mood for something different, and you happen to let this George Romero directed flick pass you by, then check this one out as soon as possible. It's a classic for a reason. 
In the end, Creep Show is a creeptastic horror anthology that highly and hellishly entertains. And there you have it, horror fans. That is George Romero's fantastic horror anthology film, Creep Show. Just a great collaborating effort between George Romero and Stephen King. And it's one of my favorites. Like I said, it entertains to all hell. So if you haven't seen it before, for some odd reason, check it out as soon as possible because it's badass fun. But guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that review and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you with the next movie review. Take care.